this was my idea. So you, when we came in, you had this awesome box of knives. Yep. <laughs> and you wanted to go over all the specs. Like, no, no, let's not, let's just talk. The three of us are big knife guys. Right? Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so we're hanging out in the garage, mm -hmm. having a beer, whatever. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna talk about these. Which ones do you like and why? You know, what <laughs> what what, uh, what what makes you excited? Is so, all of them an acceptable answer? No. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm the only one that can be candid here. You guys, yeah, you yeah. guys are on the uh, clock here. So, yeah. what's up with the tomahawk? Is are those popular? Uh, tomahawks are very popular. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of reasons. Maybe that is the case. There's um, the great application in the outdoors, and then there's always zombie apocalypse. So let's all spade a spade, right? <laughs> if they want. Them, right? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Well, well, I what I've read is that there's. I mean, some of the spec op guys are are being issued these, right? That's right. Carrying. <clears throat> yeah, we've got. Um, Part of the business for this product is, is Special Operations Command. And what's neat about this, and I think it's really cool from the Gerber perspective, is that there it's not go, here just... Here he goes, here he goes. Yeah. Do, you like, do, you, do you like it? Of course it. I like it. Oh, I love it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All, right. All, right. All right, let's keep on moving right. on here. We'll yeah. be here eight hours. I know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. It's okay, so what's this one? So this is a soldier's knife, obviously. Yep. Another one, strong arm. So it's a fixed blade knife. Uh, it's designed to be mounted three ways, which is kind of neat. That's the one you could yeah. mount it. Across yeah. the back. Yeah. Vertical, yeah. upside down, molly gear. Yeah, I like that. I, I, I've never carried a knife horizontally, mm -hmm. but I, I could see where that would be nice. Yeah. yeah, and you got yeah a lot of right here, of course, and then as well. The thing I like about this one, I think the weight is is right, and the purchase on the, this rubber overmold is just super confident. And as soon as you pick this up, you were talking earlier. About it feels trustworthy. It feels yeah. trustworthy. It's got the juju or whatever you want to call it when you pick it up. Where you just go, this one feels as Jer good. Jeremy Clarkson yeah. says, it gives me the fizz. It gives yeah. you the fizz. It gives you the fizz. Gives me the fizz. Yeah. Got the fizz for sure. Yeah, I like fixed blades. I do carry fixed blades. Uh, sometimes when I'm like working around, but they're, yep. you know, people, in the culture era we live in, some people, it's just not always ideal yeah. in yeah. town. You know, some people. Yeah. It's not an everyday carry kind of thing, which, you know, is, uh, it's so okay. This, it's not what this is, really this is a, uh, this is, what do you call this point? Basically this dagger, double serrated. Uh, spear point. Spear yeah, point. Or double edge, you might oh, call it. Do you like these? Uh, you know, I don't personally have much of a, a purpose for this knife or this style of knife because I'm not—I don't find myself in a tactical scenario very often. Yeah. But um, I admire this knife, and it mm -hmm. feels good. You know, it's confident. It feels like it's got. It feels like a weapon. Not not great for EDC. <laughs> not great for EDC. <laughs> EDC. Whenever, whenever I think of these things, remember Tom Berenger and that, what was that movie, Platoon? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Charlie Sheen? Yeah. Those things are vicious, mm, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. So are scary. these popular with soldiers? Uh, not as much. Uh, the neck knife, that's a little bit more like a concealed carry kind of thing. Okay. This is like this is another one, part of that collection that is like the strong arm knife, which you would never carry on the street, but that's designed to fit kind of into your everyday carry. Yeah. So you got a pocket knife, you got your belt knife. This guy, this, I don't like the handle. Uh, it's, it's a little rough. Yeah. I mean, if you were doing something like an outdoor task, batoning or carving, I mean, that would get hard really quick. It would get painful. Yeah, I mean, so maybe, maybe- if you're an undercover cop. Or yeah, or maybe on your mm -hmm. uh, raft guide yeah. type, type, of, yeah, right. type of thing. But I don't, yeah. They make a raft guide. Not just, I don't know about that, that one really does. Oh, the mm -hmm. green one there, okay. It's not the zombie apocalypse knife? I don't know. I, I feel like a zombie could get past that. So this is salt, salt water. Yeah, and it's corro water. highly corrosion resistant. That's that mirror polish. Uh, right. It's green. Great for cutting lines. Like yeah, that's ulceration. Yeah, and when you're drowning, you can really get a hold of it. It's big and green. Exactly. And, yeah, and you're, yeah, you're not going to stab yourself at the front. This of the one, here's another. This one's got the fizz to me as well. This is the Gator Premium. Well, that's the fancy Gator. This is the fancy Gator, but I really like the clip point. How come we didn't build one of those <laughs> today? <laughs> yeah, right. See, well, we just weren't sure what the skill set was. Oh, so, yeah. a, little, a, little more, a little more. This is nice. <laughs> a nice little story. more involved in this. A little bit, yeah. Little can you bit. one hand open this? Uh, I think that probably depends on the person. I think I could, but no, I, I, know I, I can't. So I'm not sure about you there. Can oh, you do it? Oh, left, left hand, though. You're left you work hand. Here. I do work here, so yeah. left handed. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, ah, nice. that, that polish yeah. is nice. I had my fingers crossed. It's just, that's a there. nice feeling knife. Yeah. I, like the, so, I like the aesthetic of the clip point, particularly. Yeah. yeah. So the it's got the. Um, it's got you've got the bolster bolsters yeah bolsters yeah there. And that's it's a little bit a little more rigid rigid a little bit and you know what what's funny about this is it looks like this elegant like gentleman's knife because i guess it kind of is but you know if you're carving a deer up with this the blood and guts are going to get all over this place so this is actually really easy to clean up because it's got that bolster there versus the rubber oh, we don't care about that we just we just want it to look <laughs> yeah. good yeah. it does look right. cool though. that's what half of this is about right now this uh, we were talking earlier when i was when i was in high school mm -hmm. uh man this was the Mark, was it the Mark II then or the Mark I? <clears throat> Uh, well, they're yeah. both both were active for a while. So the Mark One was just a little bit shorter. The Mark Two came the out. Mark this II. is the one that I think has had the most 
fame, right? Oh yeah. yeah. It actually started. It had a canted handle, which was really you know because it was at a boot it knife, go, what? right? Yeah. So you could grab it off your hip. That's or your boot. right. I remember that. I never did buy. They were they were so expensive back in the day. Yeah. We've got some of the old order forms. You had uh -huh. to pencil in your order to custom you know get it yeah. custom made. It would ship to you like six weeks later. Oh, they were special. Oh, they yeah. were they were That's really real. really special. It was a yeah. big deal. And yeah. and this basically still being made, made the same way, right? Is that the same serration pattern? And uh, that's been updated actually. Little handle. Got the same material, same construction, but the yeah, the pattern itself and the blade yeah. uh, width is a little bit different. Yeah, so. these those were those were cool. They're still cool. They're still I mean, cool. that's just that's iconic just cool right knife. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So you carry you carry uh, you're carrying a folding knife. You're not carrying an AO assist or or an auto. Like yours is just a straight up. Tip is it a flick? Typically, yeah, yeah. Typically, I've got I've got a box of knives. I don't yeah. have everything, but because we do, I mean, we we've we like the automatics, you know, and uh, we do those pretty well. And those aren't legal everywhere. You can you can carry one legal in probably half of the country, and then depending on if you have a concealed carry license or some other very gray area type of uh, restrictions, you can carry them. But I find myself always carrying an auto, and I, you know, people I you know, pull it out. And, Red Robin or whatever case yeah, it's kind of a bad idea. But, well, I'm uh, yeah. so comfortable with it, but I just love the one-handedness yeah. of it. There's just no fidgeting, you know. You know, I have, I have not carried one, not because I have anything against them. It's just that I I've just I'm institutionalized. Mm -hmm. You know, you yeah. kind of get used to something. Yeah. I've never really thought about it, but. It is nice. It, what's really fun is to play with it. Yeah, <laughs> they're super fun to play with. And you catch yourself standing there talking to somebody, right. playing with it, and then you realize, oh, that's actually a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on company. Yeah. This has a, is this Cerakote? <clears throat> Uh, oh, that, is a, that is an OD green Cerakote. Yes. Cerakote, that's yeah. a good looking knife. Yeah, well, that's, that's a really heavy, handsome. chunky. I like this one. Yeah, yeah. It's you know, you're, it's a symbol. You're and these knives are USA made. These are all, all USA, USA made, made yeah. knives. Yep. We got a, a big box, as you can see. Yeah, I, I, I do like that assisted opening. This is this is a nice, fun one to play with mm -hmm. as well. Covert, the covert. Yeah. Same auto style. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's a sticker, isn't yeah, it? Right? Yeah, right. It's a really, really plenty one. Yeah, that's a great knife. Uh, that carry deep in your pocket, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, actually, that's yeah. You're talking about deep carry. That kind of that just melts, it melts away. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's skinny. Some of these knives are a little bit big, especially when you if you're driving a lot. Yeah, when your leg comes fit. up, they're yeah. they're not very comfortable. I like the skinnier ones. The textures too are something that I mean I love the textures, but they just eat your jeans. Yeah. So yeah, have you seen the jeans? Some of the work jeans now they're putting a patch of leather on no, there. Yeah, and it looks terrible, but yeah. it's very very it functional. Yeah. yeah. This is nice. This is nice here. Yeah, I like that's, that. a, that's, that's a nice one. one. Yeah. This is a really cool one too. The, the Propel Downrange Auto. I just like the thickness. It's got that same auto feel that this one does, I think. And it's, but it's really, uh, it's thinner. It's much lighter. It's, it's a little it more is. Uh, practical so, to carry. This is G10. That's G10. G10. Yeah. 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 So I'm not a big the Tanto, the whole Tanto thing. Yeah. And primarily because I mean it looks cool. And it's <laughs> great for poking holes in cans, but it's hard to sharpen. It is hard to sharpen. Uh -huh. if you're, it's funny if you're like scraping decals off, or there's some really unique tasks you find yourself doing where it's served me, but you're, you know, it's yeah, it's a pain it's to sharpen. Pretty purpose driven that uh, thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. If you need to poke a hole in the car hood, it's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah that doesn't really. This is a cool. Thing. This is a cool one. Kind of a rescue knife. Oh yeah, seat belt cutter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Safety tip on it. Yeah. Yeah. I always, you know, working in a knife company, I'm always, <clears throat> people want knives, so I'm, I'm buying knives on my, on my employee that price. Does not, that doesn't give me the fish. That one doesn't give me the fish. No, okay, well, here's one that definitely does. Like, <laughs> this, you can do this all day. Yeah, that, that is really, we were just talking that I, I am in the process of changing my wild end gear multi-tool to this because it's one-handed. Right. Yeah, I, I right. like this. Yeah. And so you guys have been, when did you come out with these? Uh... I should know that off the top of my head, but that's it's been a long, it's been it's a long, long time. time. Yeah, I want to say years? 70s yeah. uh, or, early or longer 80s. than that. Yeah. How many of those did you say deployed? We're over three million have been issued. And so these deployed. are these have are been being... issued to U.S. military. Yeah, so that was standard issue. Like if you were a U.S. soldier, meaning Army, going to Iraq or Afghanistan, you had one of these. You got issued that. Yeah, yeah. every time you went. So in you know, you know, it's cheap. In the nylon sheath. Yeah, yeah. and it's You're interesting when you talk to guys who have been in the service. It's it, that's what you call a multi-tool. Is you call it a Gerber. It's called a Gerber. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's like, hey man, yeah. throw me your Gerber. Throw me your Gerber. Gerber. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, very handy. Yep. What's this one here? That is a Prodigy. So another fixed blade. That one's been around a lot longer. Um, definitely has a, 
a bigger sheath you can see there. So you were saying that some of your uh, some of your nylon sheaths were you were using local guys. That you mentioned tactical tailors doing some of your sheath work. Tactical for you. tailors done some sheaths. Um, <coughs> Those are good guys up there. They're great guys. Oh my gosh, incredible. Yeah. yeah, really well designed kit. LBT over in Virginia Beach has done some nylon work. Uh, a couple of others. So yeah, you know what I mean. Sometimes you got to outsource expertise. You know. Well, you can't do everything. Yeah, I do like the uh, the rubber. I mean, it's easy to be. It was easy to be snobbish mm -hmm. when you look at them, but I mean, it's pretty nice. Yep, it's pretty practical. I like like you were you found one that had some Cerakote on it, which is something that with our little one here. Yeah. That I'm, I'm starting to really like the Cerakote. It has such a nice sheen on it. Yeah, yeah. it it's like it draws I mean, the eye for sure. Like look at that. I mean, that's just it sucks the light in. It's, it's a perfect nice. texture. I mean, it's that nice. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's almost like that nice anodizing that. Surefire sure does. Good, you yeah. know, the, just the older it gets, the more you carry it, yeah. the, the better it looks. <coughs> the patina yeah. on yeah, it. You get the Boba Fett look to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's look. Yeah. 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 This is, what's this one here? That's a big old knife. That's another Applegate. So that comes in, you know, there's like, this is the middle size one. This comes in a number of variations, including that auto, that auto the automatic one. Same, right? So what's yeah. this? This is a lock? That's a, yeah, that's a secondary lock. So you've got your liner lock, and then once that liner lock's engaged, you push that forward, and then you can see just on their side. Case, just right? in case, right? Well, okay. you know, it's you're, it's trying to be as uh, stable as a fixed blade. It's not yeah. a fixed blade, but well, it's, it's about as close as you can probably get. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Let's keep going here. What else we got here? This is an interesting one that I'm not familiar with, Andrew. Maybe you mm. can speak to. Well, that one is a, this is a, yeah, this is a real interesting one. So that's an automatic uh, safety hook. strap cutter, yep. And that was yeah. designed for, Army aircraft pilots, helicopter oh, yeah. pilots. Oh, interesting. What, what happens is they crash occasionally, hopefully not too often. And, uh, you know, an arm can get broken. So you need to be able to deploy a strap cutter one handed. So they prioritize that automatic opening on the uh, strap cutter instead of the blade. Oh, interesting. Well, and that one's got a big a frame, early liner lock. Frame, frame lock, lock on yeah, there. Is yeah. that, is that yeah, frame, frame lock? lock? That's a frame, frame lock. lock. Yeah, mm -hmm. excuse me. This is okay. Yeah, that I can see. So it's not. It's it's actually part of the the, the handle scale. itself. Is, the handle is itself the lock. Is yeah. the lock. Yeah. yeah. Which some, you know, this is one of those things that some people love it, some people hate it. Um, yeah. It's a, it's just a, another interesting kind of design. Yeah. I, I, I that's nice. Yeah. I don't typically like knives. I, I mean, I kind of like knives that are knives that do multi rolls, but. As you said, there's a need for it. I'm not a I'm not a pilot. Right. Yeah. Either, I mean, so. maybe not the best EDC knife. Probably. Yeah. This one is. Where's the order? Yeah. This is the one I actually keep in my truck that I like quite a bit. Super light, super easy to carry, slim, uh, durable. I like it. Well, that is light. It's mm -hmm. light, light. Yeah. And I mean, we talk about. I mean, light, weight becomes so important. Then I was going through my Wildland pack, and I thought that I trimmed it down. My wife is, has a backpacking background. She took six pounds off of it. I went out on a fire, and it was still crushing me. Uh -huh. I came back and took four more out of it. You know, and those little things, like things, this type of thing, where a knife like this, if you're not, I mean, if it's not hard use, it's not you doing it all the time. This is going to work for most people, and it weighs nothing. It weighs right. Nothing. Yeah, because you can carry either one, but ounces turn into pounds so quick. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Do you carry two knives on you, or just one? I carry a multi-tool. Yeah, just um, a multi-tool for that. That plays both roles. Yeah, yeah, and nothing very expensive typically. Because you see, so you lose so much out there. Mm -hmm. So what are these yeah. things? Those are uh, we call them solid-state tools, which is kind of you know it means uh, there's no moving parts. And so there's a shotgun version and an archery version. And we're calling the span tools. So they're designed specifically for maintaining your bow or your shotgun. So you got like a broadhead wrench. You got box wrenches, arrowhead sharpener, uh, oh, honing wrench. Those you are really, what, what's the shotgun version? Shotgun, oh, these are both actually the archery version. Oh, the shotgun version has a, uh, has a choke remover tool on one choke, side. Choke wrench, and, yep. um, a hex, set of hex. They both have uh, bottle okay. openers, of course. Yeah, right. Why would you put a bottle opener? Yeah. Bottle yeah. opener. So, so, bottle opener I like these, the, these molly <coughs> yeah, the, clips. Uh, those are really, really handy. So yeah. this is a, probably a, a rescue cutter? Yep, and that's an army issue item right there. So oh, yes. a couple of couple cutters. Yeah, you know guys are rolling over in MRAPs and falling into canals and Bradleys and yeah. stuff. They need something to get out of all their gear really quick. I keep one of these on my uh, paddle jacket. Yeah. Uh, for rope and everything. And it's, it's the nice thing about these is it's, it, it, sometimes when you have multiple gear to have something that is, that you're changing, like I'm pulling out of this bag to get to this one, it's mm -hmm. too much to remember. So these are so light and inexpensive. I've had several of them. I put them on things, I forget about them. Yeah. And they're there if I need them and I didn't, for oh, I forgot to put my knife in or I forgot to do this. Right. 
The, it, like, what does this cost? Oh, like Something 12 like bucks. I mean, yeah, it's, it's nothing. Bucks. We've got one of those in every car. We, I mean, just why wouldn't you? Yeah, you mount know? it to the, to the right top of the seat, seat yep. belt. Yep. Yeah, it's got a glass breaker, of course. You guys course, like the glass We love those glass breakers. Yeah. Speaking of glass breakers. This is uh, it's kind of an interesting one. So this is called the DMF, dual multifunction. And this is a very unique mechanism. And I'm curious, I'll, we'll see what you think. But So it works left-handed or, or right-handed. I'm not very good with my left, obviously, but you pull that down and that's what deploys it. So this actually releases the whole mechanism. And that needs to be broken in a little bit there, obviously. But It's got a cool blade style, but we've had some really impassioned uh, opinions projected on that one there so yeah i'm looking for the thumb stud it's not there not so. there yeah um I, I i like i like love the lock mm -hmm. um the it's 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 a big it's a very little, big knife it's a little yeah. chunky for me <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but i do like the finger choils and all of that yeah. it, the nice thing about i mean to get that security of something that, that's going to mm -hmm. stick in your hand you have to have that size but yeah i mean this is a soldier's knife though it is this yeah. is not edc knife I like the I like the lock a lot. Yeah, that's cool. This is an interesting tool. <clears throat> I don't get run into this one very much in the in the Gerber catalog, but like a comms guy, right? Yeah. In the, in the military. Yep. Setting up base communications, communications, like satellite a, land. This is um, a pretty purpose-driven tool. Yeah. So you actually have a use for, but pretty interesting. <laughs> Wire strippers, clippers. Um, you got your bit driver there. What's cool about this? Is this for a Cat5 cable? Cat5 cable crimper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can set up your Comcast or your cable with that. You, you know? should have been with these with my name on it. Yeah. I can use that. <laughs> there, so. And so you got your wire cutter. Yeah, wire cutter. Wire That's cutters. a neat tool. It's a neat tool, right? Yeah. Look at the handles. Yeah, watch this. So you're going to go, you're going to put this, uh, there's like a button right there. You're going to take that off, and now you got an extended bit driver here. Right? Boy, oh, proper screwdriver proper with screwdriver. extension on That's yep. neat. And then uh, there's, yeah. a there's a knife blade on one end of it too. It must be on the other side of that. There's a knife on there. Engineer well. guys just must just oh, geek yeah. out geek thinking, out. How, oh, yeah. can I, how can I add one more thing right. to this? Worst job in the world. And the, yeah. and the screwdriver locks. Yeah. yeah. Right. Wow. So, I mean, you can there's a lot of thought to go into these multi tools. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? I mean, look at it. Look. All the finely yeah. machines. For the strippers. Gauge, gauge mm -hmm. strippers. That would be something that'd be handy just to put in your electrical box. Yeah. Like yep. This is this is the pro version of that little red handled uh, wire stripper. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's really neat. Yeah. So how does it go back? Uh, just like the other side way. there. This yeah. way here. Yep. There we go. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Cable thing. dog. Cable dog. Cable dog. Cable dog. Huh. Yeah. That's interesting. Here's yeah. a. Uh, so that actually that's a great one. These are two interesting ones to compare. This is another one where you kind of either love it or hate it, but. That's hate it, hate it. <laughs> but it's a fully exposed that one, yeah. tang, yeah. right? So you see how the, like, me the yeah. metal is fully exposed and it's just rubber no, on the I side. Don't, I don't hate it. I just I'm just not a I'm not a tanto. Yeah, a tanto stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's it's fine. Yeah. Right. This one on the other hand, I like that. Yeah, that's that's our old boy LMF well, that's two. A, beefy yep, that's knife, a, isn't knife, it? Yep, knife's been around a block. So this is this a pressed on piece here? Uh, that is machined, and then what's interesting about this is this was designed, again, there's a very specific end user in mind here. So it's not what they call full tang, meaning a solid piece of steel. It's yeah. actually disconnected here and here. Okay. And the reason for that is that it was designed to help down soldiers get out of an aircraft that crashed, so that you could actually cut through the Chinook's message. fuselage of this. And that's designed specifically for aircraft plexiglass. And then what will happen is you might hit some 220 volt wire, and this knife is designed to be insulated. So if you're touching this pipe fit and you hit that oh, wire, you want to look interesting. Yourself. I didn't realize you guys did so much with the military. We are the military is the backbone of our entire I had, company. I had no idea. That's why. I mean, I mean, that's an interesting story, right? Think about why not full tang knife in this. Well, somebody had to make Very that mistake. Specific. Yeah, right. And Some guy. Yeah. To report back, got like, hey, this is, yeah. this is a problem. Yeah. Well, we, we've got a, a letter and we got a, um, a note from the, a guy who actually had this. I might have it upstairs even, but he used his LMF to, to cut the 220-volt wire inside of a compound in Iraq uh, yeah. during the invasion. It's just two guys in a sniper position and some enemy had come into the uh, encampment. All the lights were on. And Can you imagine the conversation it. between these guys? Like, you cut it. You cut it. You cut it. You cut it. <laughs> <laughs> so it left like an arc on the blade. Yeah. He had used it, but, but he got through it. totally saved their day. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's a good story. That's yeah. a great one. Yeah. The, the yep. sheaths look nice. She's a cool. We got these here. What else? You that got Gator there? Premium is the other, the other one. Oh, yeah. This one. This is a fixed that's blade. Gator. That's the fixed blade Gator. That, yep. one's, that one's got a little bit Classic. of too. That's a nice knife. It's hard to find, but the balance though is something, it's, you actually don't realize how many knives don't have balance until you hold something like that, which is full size. <laughs> These are not. Maybe not that balanced, but yeah. center, center back. <laughs> Watch your toes. 
that they feel is feel. Some, I mean, sometimes you grab. It's like I don't know if you guys shoot handguns or not, but oh yeah. Sometimes you, you know, for me, like grabbing a Sig Sawyer, yeah. it's like ooh, just it, feels it, a whole it must, lot They must have taken clay and, and to my hand and made uh, that on there. This has that feel. Yeah, it feels totally. good. That's cool. Yeah, the Gator Premium. That's S thirty V steel. That's that's the upgraded version of the of the much. And it, it it polishes nice, doesn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah. It has that. Uh, that classic, like that Victorinox look, you know, that yep. kind of that but really deep, pretty deep, deep shine, deep shine yeah. on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, mirror polish. That's yeah. pretty, yeah. that's a great, be a great hunting knife right mm-hmm. there. Yeah. Yeah. I like the, you just don't see that curved handle very often, and I've never held it, but yeah, it feels kind of good in the hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's nice, nice sheath too. Yeah, American leather. I mean, that's kind of hard to come by, actually. You don't see that in a production knife too often. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah a lot of cool stuff here. I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, so this is a okay. So this is a multi tool I haven't seen before. This one's called the MP1. So that's a traditional butterfly open tool, not a one hand tool like ours. Okay. And uh, yeah, just externally available implements, very lightweight and a pretty really sharp. Del- pretty delicate. Yeah. Well, what's cool is it's very like narrow in the jaws, but it's forged jaws not cast so to dur- be durable. you know what the first thing that'll happen with guys who are really really hard on their tools is they're going to snap the jaws usually because yeah. they're misusing them but what what uses misuse, well, you, right you guys you guys use miss- doesn't misuse. That, yeah that's right. what they're for so those are actually these are actually bend before they break because they're four just been yep. stamped you know mm-hmm. uh which is pretty pretty neat and then uh, that one's actually like it's designed for vehicle maintenance, so it's got. Well, this one you'd actually appreciate this. It's light. So this has a built-in tire depth gauge. Oh, that is. Um, a cotter pin puller. Mm-hmm. Well, that's pulling nice. Out, yeah, for out pulling out linchpins like for, nice. for axle nut key, mm-hmm. like key castle nuts or something yeah. like that. You know? So you're not destroying them with the vice. You're not trying to grab them with a pair of needle nose pliers and yeah. like whacking yourself. In there. This nice. is a nice tool. And then if you, this is another one. This is our MP800 Legend. So that's a. That's a full size, <laughs> big one. Full size tool. Yeah. Oh, this one. This is the one that's got the carbide. Yep. Replaceable. Jaws yeah, a bunch in of them there. do. Mm-hmm. The couple versions of the MP600 have yep. those replaceable carbide bits. And this is even. This is pretty light for as big, big, for as, big as it is. Yeah. Yeah, which I, you know, if I had a, if I had a preference, it's I, you know, I like smaller tools. It's about the packability again. I think that's if you were going to carry something in a tool shop or a garage, that is probably more up your your alley the whole uh there has i don't think there's anything been more overdone too much that the, the tactical thing i am i think everyone <laughs> yeah. is so over it's the tactical bit, yeah. thing yeah. and i'm starting to see in myself i'm starting to carry i'm like yeah i want and i want a knife that's been that's cu- that's come out of that environment that's learned all those lessons and that durability but also i i, I don't need to look like joe operator right maybe <laughs> maybe a little bit of brass bolster or, or a rosewood inlay you know right, so a little yeah, right. bit of elegance you know, something that's right. nice and and these have that i mean how tiring is that black texture g10 i mean that's been right. done so much add the tonto tip and the tonto tip <laughs> right, um, <laughs> to have something that yeah, yeah that's you know maybe I don't, I don't like to use the word a gentleman's knife no, but it's it, a little more elegant because you live in a little more elegant yeah world, it's you know it's fa- mm-hmm. nice to have a little fancy yeah, yeah. yeah. a little bit yeah. Of some, fancy. Fl- some flavor a different yeah. flavor you know yeah and the, and yeah. The, also you know in a knife like that i'm not concerned about weight this is not something a purpose-built mm-hmm. knife that's going into a pack with a bunch of stuff you know if right. it's a little heavier and yeah, it feels is, good in your hand. It's nice. Really this nice. is the one when you're sitting around waiting, you know, you're taking out and you're admiring it. Yeah. You know, yeah. you're playing with it. And that's, I mean, we, we talk a lot about like, you know, is building it, products based on the need, but your need, my need, your need, is a great knife that sits in your pocket and serves you for your tasks. And that's, that's something that's been a little bit of a gap maybe in our line. Remember, this is nice. So it, it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's the old school, yeah. like the buck. Yeah. You know, yeah. type Lots of, of like light, the line of lucky. Yeah. That, that's, yeah. an, that's just a nice knife right there. Yeah. Well, I'd have a hard time deciding. Yeah, I just yeah. need both. Right, of them. you can have yeah, both. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, it's a good question though. I think I think you're right. I mean, I think there's you know you carry a knife. A knife is not just another product you buy. It's a part of you. Yeah. It reflects you. So the story behind it, the design behind it, how it, how it fits in your pocket, that matters, you know? Yeah. And that's, and that's elegant right there. Yeah. yeah, that mark is awesome. That's what right. that's what you, that's what your granddad's case had. Yeah. yeah. You know, versus yeah, the laser etching, it's it's nice and it's fast, but it's cool. this is this is cool. That's stamped yeah. in there, yeah. Yeah, it's stamped yeah. in there. It's yeah. old yeah. school. 1939. Authentic. You know, people feel about their knives the same yeah. way they feel about their watches and their wallets and yeah. Yeah. it's a part of, of your identity, you know. Yep. It says yep. something about your aesthetic totally. and your taste. It does. That's why there's you go on Instagram and there are yeah. millions of pictures. What are they? The it's the guy's wa- wallet, yeah. his um, uh, pocket knife, his flashlight, yep. his, his pistol, key, key, key yeah. ring, yeah. pistol, yeah. extra key bag ring, holder, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all that. 
truck keys. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, thank you for inviting yeah. us. We had a great time today. It was um, it was very eye opening. I mean, I. I considered myself to be informed. Good. And, I mean, and that, nice. was, that was the hope, man. And we appreciate you spending the time and, and seeing all this stuff. It's obviously really important to us. So it's great to open up the plant and, and see, see some people yeah. kind of react to all Thanks this. Thanks for having us yeah, out. Thanks pleasure. for putting yeah, all this together. It's nice Absolutely. meeting you guys. Yeah. yeah, right on. Oh, well, fun. How do I top this today? You don't. Yeah. Or there's a couple brew pubs downtown that we're kind of, I don't know, we're kind of excited about. So. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's a good way. Yeah, that's, that's a good start. Yeah, that's right. All right. Cool. Good. All right. Well, thanks again. Thanks, man. Thanks again. Yeah, I really sure appreciate thing. it. Yeah. Good to see you. You guys are like the biggest knife geeks we're nice. ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seriously. How long well, we can't have? believe I can still keep talking about knives. I know. I know. <laughs> well, we're literally forever. <laughs> <laughs> Stand around the table and talk about knives. I, How long? I could literally talk about knives all day. Long. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I know it's good stuff. Never. Been this guy's stuff. Told. You, know, you can't. Yeah. It's hard to put a put a real like uh, reasoning to it. Yeah. Just as I, I, I feel, primal. I'm almost embarrassed to admit it, but every day, like I open up my my closet door and I, I'm grabbing all my normal stuff. You know, my, yeah. my effects, if you will. And there's more knives than I know what to choose from. <laughs> and you know, it's it's probably like shoes or something. But I'm like, am I? Uh, to go clip and you know you never know I, what how, how do you feel that? i don't know I I go, i've got some knives i've got some pox, carry some uh, folding <laughs> knives that are huge yeah they're completely impractical to carry but i will go like i'm carrying that today yeah, yeah. today we're rolling heavy today there's no sense no sense but i want i want it i want i want to open it to go yep. yeah. 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 Yeah.